I'm Peter Rowe, I'm the Artistic Director of the New Woolsey Theatre and the Director of Our House. Our House is a play written by Tim Firth around the Songs of Madness. So he's very cleverly incorporated um, songs that we all know and love um, and are very, very familiar with into a completely original story. I think that's the, the important thing about the show. It's not a jukebox musical. It's not a, a musical about Madness the Band. It's a, a, a story incorporating their songs. Okay, and what is that story? It starts with uh, the central character, Joe, as a 16-year-old boy. It's his 16... 16th birthday, his mum's organised a surprise party for him. It's a really big night because the girl that he fancies at school, Sarah, is going to come to the party and he's got this night planned for the two of them. He breaks into a flat in Camden and takes her up to this flat for a night of romance. And then the police arrive and that's where the problems start. He's faced with this choice about whether he should run away and give him, or give himself up. So in one version of the story he he runs away, kind of leaves Sarah behind, um, trailing in his wake. In the other version of the story, he gives himself up to the police. And we see the consequences of that, of that choice um, played out through the course of the evening. So the, the, the show splits at that point into a good Joe story and a bad Joe story. And we see what happens as a result of those choices he makes to his future life. Um, and in both versions of the story, Sarah, the girl, figures. So. It's kind of two simultaneous love stories, and which of these which of these versions of Joe is going to end up with the girl is one of the main points of interest. And this is all overseen by, kind of conducted by his father, who left the family when Joe was about eight. He went into prison. He came out of prison and never came home. So they they don't know what's happened to him. They don't know whether he's still alive or not. So he exists within the play as a kind of um, ringmaster from uh, the ether or from um, the grave, coming back as a ghost, conducting Joe through these different versions of his life, saying, don't make, make the mistakes that I made. If you make this choice, that this is what it leads to. Um, it turns out that life is not as simple as black and white. So although we start with two very clear-cut choices at the beginning, gradually life becomes more complicated and both of these Joes end up in a, a much more compromised grey area where the choices are morally not so clear. Well, we in New Woolsey Theatre Style have got a company of 18 actor, musician, dancers. So everybody in the company plays an instrument. The band is right in the middle of the set. Um, it's a story that moves very swiftly between a number of different locations, but the band are permanently there. Uh, and we've been watching early madness videos as part of the reference and research for, the, for this material, all of which feel like little actor, musician shows in, in themselves. So I think this style of performance with the band, part of the action and the instruments incorporated into the dance routines and into the songs, really suits the band and suits their style of music. I think when people think about Madness songs, they think about that, that kind of activity, that kind of presentation. I think an audience is going to have a fantastic time with this show. It's packed full of really energetic numbers, all of which are really, really good numbers, um, most of which we know inside out. So they're very familiar songs. It's very, very high energy, and there's a, there's a cast working their socks off in every direction, uh, singing, playing, um, dancing, moving between rapid costume changes. And the story itself is fantastically exciting. Um, it just never, never relents, it never gives up. You're following these two Joes through this um, very complex interweaving pathway that they may both move down. Uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting ride.